Hello young people and kids, how are you? I am Professor Esmeralda. In this new video, we will talk about microorganisms. Microorganisms are living beings that are so incredibly small that they cannot be seen with the naked eye. We can only observe them with the aid of a microscope. They are called microorganisms because the prefix micro means small and organism refers to living beings. There are various types of microorganisms that exist in the world, including viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, and many other types of microorganisms. I will explain each one of them to you. What is a virus? Tell them that viruses are the smallest microorganisms. Viruses are unable to live or reproduce on their own. They require entry into a living cell, such as those found in our body, in order to multiply and create more viruses. How does this work? Let me tell you that when a virus enters our body, it finds a cell and gets inside it. Once inside, it utilizes the cell as if it were a factory to produce more viruses. This has the potential to damage or even kill the cells, which in turn makes us sick. I will mention some diseases that are caused by viruses. The common cold is a mild infection that primarily affects the respiratory tract. It typically causes symptoms such as nasal congestion, frequent sneezing, and a sore throat. The flu, which is also commonly referred to as influenza, is a very serious respiratory infection. It leads to symptoms such as fever, persistent cough, sore throat and overall fatigue. Measles. Let me tell you, young people and children, that measles is a disease that causes fever and skin rashes. It can lead to very serious complications if not treated properly. Chickenpox is caused by the varicella zoster virus. This disease causes skin rashes with blisters and itching. Can we protect ourselves from these viruses? Of course, our body has a defense system known as the immune system that actively fights against harmful viruses and other pathogens. Additionally, vaccines are important to protect us from viral diseases. Vaccines work by training our immune system to recognize and destroy certain harmful viruses before they have a chance to harm us. Another type of microorganism is bacteria. Let me tell you that bacteria are microorganisms that are a bit larger than viruses. However, they are still so small that we can only see them with the help of a device called a microscope. Unlike viruses, bacteria can live and reproduce independently on their own. They can live in almost any environment such as in water, soil, animals, and even inside our bodies. Bacteria have the potential to cause various diseases such as salmonella. This particular disease is typically acquired through the consumption of contaminated food or water. Symptoms include diarrhea, fever, abdominal pain, and nausea. Another disease caused by bacteria is tuberculosis. It is a serious infection that mainly affects the lungs causing symptoms like persistent cough, fever, and weight loss. Another bacterial disease is tetanus. Tetanus, young people and children, is caused by bacteria that can enter the body through wounds. Tetanus causes severe muscle spasms and can be fatal if not treated in time. Ear infections. Tell you that these types of infections are caused by bacteria. They can occur in the middle ear and are common in children. Symptoms of this disease include ear pain, a high fever, and difficulties with sleeping. Young people and children, are all bacteria bad? Tell them that not all. In fact, many bacteria are very important and necessary for our health. 
For example, we have beneficial bacteria in our intestines that help us digest our food. And without these good bacteria, we wouldn't be able to break down some essential nutrients. How can we defend ourselves against bad bacteria? One of the main actions you should take is to thoroughly wash your hands and ensure that you cook food very well. These actions help us avoid diseases that are caused by bad bacteria. We can also make use of antibiotics. These are medicines that destroy bad bacteria without harming the good ones. But it's important young people and children not to use them if they're not necessary. Because bacteria can become resistant to antibiotics and it can be much harder to fight them. Another type of microorganism is fungi. Microscopic fungi are so small that they can only be seen with a microscope, but they always cause many infections. What conditions can fungi cause? Let me tell you, young people and children, that fungi can cause skin infections like athlete's foot or candidiasis. These infections, young people, are known as fungal infections because they are the invasion of tissues by one or more species of fungi. Fungi typically appear in moist areas of our body, such as between the toes or in the mouth. Fungal infections are common in these damp regions where fungi thrive. How can we, young people and children, protect ourselves from this type of fungal microorganism? One of the actions is to keep the skin dry and clean. It's a really good way to avoid these types of fungal infections. If we get infected by some type of fungus, there are special creams and medications called antifungals that kill the fungi. Parasites are another type of microorganism. These parasites are microorganisms that live inside or on other living beings in order to feed on them. They can be larger than viruses, bacteria, and fungi. There are many different types of parasites, and some of these parasites can cause serious diseases. What types of parasites exist? To tell you that a type is the protozoan, the protozoan is a unicellular microorganism, which means that they are composed of just a single cell. They can be found in various aquatic environments, in different types of soil, and inside other living beings, including humans. One of the most well-known is the one that causes malaria. It's a disease that is transmitted by a mosquito bite. Another type of parasite that can cause illness is the helminth. They are worms which have the ability to live in our intestines and cause stomach discomfort. Another type of parasite is known as ectoparasites. These are parasites that live outside the body, such as lice or fleas. Ectoparasites feed on the blood of humans and animals. How can young people and children get infected with parasites? Let me tell you that parasites can enter our bodies in many ways. For example, protozoa can be in dirty water, and if we drink it by mistake, we will get sick. Helminths have the ability to enter our bodies through the consumption of contaminated food or by walking barefoot in areas where there is soil. How can we protect ourselves from these types of parasitic microorganisms? To avoid parasites and maintain good health, it is important to wash your hands very well before eating, drink clean and safe water, and avoid walking barefoot in dirty or contaminated places. If a person gets infected with a parasite, there are medications called antiparasitics that can eliminate the parasite from the body. Well, young people and children, I will tell you that microorganisms such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites are tiny beings that can be beneficial or harmful to our health. Some help us, such as the beneficial bacteria in our intestines, while others are responsible for causing many diseases. To protect ourselves, it is important to maintain good hygiene practices, Use vaccines and medications when necessary and take care of our immune system. In this way, we ensure that we safeguard our health and well-being. 
To strengthen our immune system, it is important that we maintain a balanced diet rich in fruits and vegetables, exercise regularly, make sure we get enough sleep, effectively manage our stress levels, and stay well hydrated. These practices, young people and children, help us to defend our body from harmful microorganisms. Well, young people and children, I hope you have understood and enjoyed the interesting content we covered about microorganisms. We will continue to see each other in other videos with new and more content. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.